Some areas finally were starting to pick up some rain, and yeah. in one place it looked like a winter wonderland yesterday. It certainly did. In fact, the snow plows were even out yesterday oh, in amazing. Santa Rosa. Take a look at this. This is all hell that fell yesterday from one of the severe storms that rolled through during the afternoon and early evening hours yesterday. This is just incredible looking photos that we've been seeing coming in to report it. Thank you to Michelle Baca for sending this particular photo in. And of course, if you have any of the photos from any of the storms yesterday or throughout the week, just send them in to report it. We would certainly like to take a look at them and take a look at this this morning. A beautiful sunrise across the Albuquerque metro area as we start off this 4th of July holiday. 66 degrees, the current temperature with a south wind at 6 miles per hour. Temperature still into the 40s and 50s from the northern mountains up into southern Colorado. 55 currently in Grant, 65 in Socorro. 57 in Ruidoso, 66 in Roswell, and nearly 70 degrees in Carlsbad. Dimming doing a little better than 70 degrees, currently sitting at 72. We do have plenty of moisture across the state. Relative humidities are up across the entire state once again for today. So we will see another round of showers and storms across the state throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours, very much like the rounds that we've seen over the past couple of days. Things starting off rather quiet right now across the state with a couple of spot showers still trying to hold on across the southwestern corner of the state, but otherwise starting off with a very nice looking morning with mostly clear skies with maybe just a few clouds passing through this morning. But again, the activity will start to ramp up into the afternoon hours as we continue to see moisture move into the state from the southwest at the surface. High pressure around it will steer those storms from north to south throughout the afternoon as we've seen throughout the past couple of days. Then toward the weekend, high pressure starts to move toward the state. We will still see showers and storms, just not the number that we've been seeing throughout much of this week. And then into next week, we start to see that moisture flow come back into the state. And so we'll be back to another good chance of seeing showers and storms for the beginning and middle of next week. And temperatures, at least through the next couple of days, staying in check. But with high pressure sliding over the state over the weekend, you will notice those afternoon highs getting a little bit warmer but still not too tough to take for this time of the year. Southern Colorado into the 80s this afternoon with partly cloudy skies. Afternoon showers and storms continue through the end of the week and into the weekend before things eventually start to dry out toward the middle of next week. Over the northwest, highs into the upper 80s to low 90s. Could see a couple of spot storms through the next couple of days and into the weekend. Then things do start to dry out as temperatures warm to the mid 90s for early next week over the southwest. Partly sunny with afternoon showers and storms, especially over the Gila. That's where you'll start to see those storms develop first this afternoon. Highs into the 90s and then into the upper 80s for Friday. Showers and storms continuing th <laughs> through the weekend. Over the southeast, partly cloudy skies, scattered afternoon showers and storms. Highs only into the low 90s for several locations, although Carlsbad will make it up to 97. We do start to heat those temperatures back up as we dry out through the weekend and early next week. Over the northeast, mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures will be into the 80s this afternoon, so feeling very nice despite all the thunderstorm activity that will be ramping up through the afternoon and through the next couple of afternoons before we start to see those storm chances go down a little bit through the weekend into early next week. Over the northern mountains, partly cloudy skies, afternoon showers and storms, highs into the 70s and 80s. We'll continue with those temperatures in the 80s through Friday and Saturday with showers and storms continuing before we start to see those storm chances go down a little bit into early next week. Over the East Mountains, partly cloudy, afternoon showers and storms, highs into the mid to upper 80s in the metro, topping out right around 90 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Could see a couple of those afternoon showers and storms roll through this afternoon, but we will start to see things dry out into the weekend. Heating up as well, we're back into the mid 90s for Saturday and into early next week as well. So the storm chances will continue through the weekend, just not as good as what we've seen throughout much of the week. Okay, we'll take what we can get. Yes. Thank you, John. Now